Hello there and welcome to today's video. I've um, come downstairs because I quite like the lighting in here actually and I've decided to do a bit of a Q&A video today. Um, relatively short because um, I'm still struggling a bit with my shoulder so I'll talk more about that towards the end of the video but um, I've got a little list of um, a few questions so I thought I'd go through those and then I'll do a little bit of a process video for a Beatles piece that I worked on recently um, for Get Back because I've just been obsessed with the um, the films so I've really wanted to make a piece on that for a while so yeah that was really nice to work on but anyway on with the questions and the first is did you go to art school and yes I went to art school twice in fact and um, the first time was um, a year after I left school and I went to do a diploma in graphic design I think it was at the local art college and I did a year and basically I had to drop out because um, I think I've talked about this on my channel before but my mum died when I was um, quite young so I lived with my dad and um, a little later my dad and his girlfriends and they both had drink problems basically so you know they just weren't the nicest people to live with so I was kind of struggling with um, with living with them so I think it just reached the end of our relationship um, a year into the course because I just you know I couldn't do it any any longer really so I had to drop out and um, go and find a job and support myself really and this story you know it's not nice but it's not uncommon you know a lot of artists out there just have no support from family so it's really difficult for them to go on and get you know an education in the arts if that's what they want to do so you know if you're in that situation or if you were in that situation you know I completely feel you it's um yeah not not very nice really um but in my 30s I decided to finally go back to art school so I did a visual communication H&D course at Warwickshire School of Arts which was based in Leamington Spa and uh, that course was just amazing. Um, I did three years part-time instead of two years full-time because I was working you know on the side as well because I you know had to support myself financially so um, yeah it was just great it was a multimedia course full of different areas that I hadn't ever explored before which was for me really great you know I, I can appreciate those that go to art college with a kind of stronger idea of what they want to do might not want to do a multimedia course because they'd want to specialize kind of straight off the bat really but um yeah although I was an illustrator before you know I was always drawing um cartooning um, a little bit figurative work as well because I could never really find my style um, I uh, yeah eventually discovers clay through a um, an arts workshop which was just brilliant because I, I discovered I had kind of a, a natural ability to work with it um, and um, was keen to explore it further really it was just air dry clay but it allowed me to start thinking about 3D forms and specifically for illustration actually um, weirdly I've never really thought of myself as a sculptor even since then um, I see myself really as a, a visual communicator really who just happens to use 3D sculptures to create illustrations if that makes sense I don't know if this is looking a bit dark actually bear with me is that better? think it might be. So I did various modules including uh, illustration, uh, digital imaging, animation, photography along with um, some others as well so it allowed me just a broad range of opportunities to explore what I wanted to do really. So at that time they just started a new relationship with Birmingham City University or Birmingham Art School and it would then allow those that graduated the HND to go on to do the degree top up for either one year or two so 
Um, I opted for the one year. So yeah, basically I went on to do a visual communication degree specialising in illustration and it was useful. Um, you know, basically I just had to do a dissertation and a final major project and um, yeah, it was a weird one. I think because I didn't have any kind of relationships with anybody there, it felt kind of almost like a bit of a lonely experience really. But um in hindsight, I'm pleased I did it, but I don't think would have it would have mattered too much had I not, really, because um, I don't think there's been an opportunity since graduating where I've needed a degree, other than maybe applying for arts funds, but I've never got any art funds anyway. So, yeah, for me, the HND was brilliant, and I'm super pleased I did it. The degree, not so much, but, you know, it was... Um, yeah, a useful process nonetheless. It's tricky because the light keeps changing today so apologies for that. So the next one is do you just work with polymer clay or do you work with other types of clay too? And the short answer to that would be yep I just use polymer but um, I did start off with air dry clay which is um, you know a completely different medium to polymer clay um you know it is an earthy clay and um polymer is a plastic so they're essentially two entirely different materials really although i work with polymer clay now i think long term i'd love to explore other mediums really um or other materials and um i've got some milliputs clay in the studio which is like an epoxy clay which i keep meaning to use but um because I've got a histamine intolerance, I just react to all sorts of smells really. So I might try that in the summer, maybe out in the garden, just to see what it's like really, because um, yeah, it's always interested me because polymer clay does come with its own limitations, as I'm sure you'll know if you work with the material too. And um, yeah, I'm just keen to, to try other methods really. So. I guess the answer to that is, yeah, just polymer clay at the moment, but watch this space. And the last question I'm going to answer today is, um, who or what are your art influences? And um, gosh, where do you start on that one? Um, I think because I'm a pop culture artist, the answer would be um, pop culture, really. But um it's got me thinking this question um, on a kind of deeper level that a lot of my work could be argued as being maybe a bit nostalgic because I've worked with various influences that, you know, I've just picked up from my own environments throughout my life. But does that then make me a nostalgic person? And um, it's interesting because I would never say that I am a nostalgic person because I believe in kind of progress and moving forward really. Um, I'm not really one to look back on stuff too much or certainly not more than your average kind of person. So yeah, it's it's an interesting one. I guess in terms of um, specific arts influences, in terms of character design anyway, I, I'm really influenced by um, Morph, which is uh, Peter Lord's creation over at Ardman. It's really interesting actually because I'm not a huge fan of um, Ardman, even though a lot of people would assume that I am. I love Peter Lord's work, um, you know, who is obviously involved with Ardman, but um, yeah, they're obviously great creations at Ardman, but um, in terms of something that speaks to me, um, yeah, Morph would be yeah, number one. Also love the Muppets, uh, you know, who doesn't love the Muppets? They've been a, a really strong influence certainly in my early years when I was really thinking about you know how to draw because I was really kind of concentrating on cartooning in my, my early years and um, yeah the Muppets characters design was certainly a big influence as was Garfield's. More recently I don't know if you've seen Don't Hug Me I'm Scared and um, you've no doubt seen them on YouTube but they've had a series on Channel 4 recently and oh my god I just love that show so much it's just brilliant um it's like a really really dark version of the muppets um 
you know, if you boil it down. Um, but it's so funny. We've watched it hundreds of times already. So yeah, go and check that out if you haven't already. They've got a YouTube channel as well. Um, it's just brilliant. And I would love to have worked on that project. It's just amazing. Also, in terms of other influences, um, it's interesting, isn't it? Because I guess you might think I'm a sculptor. So I'd be interested in sculptural work. But I think because my background is actually in illustration, um, I just look at illustration work all the time. Um, you know, I follow loads on Twitter and Mastodon recently. Come and follow me, actually, if you're on Mastodon too. I'm loving it over there. So, yeah, I've just got a constant feed of illustrators' work that I love um, on Twitter. And, um, yeah, it just kind of, like, you know, enters your brain and just comes out as your own kind of work, really, doesn't it? You know, I think it's really good to immerse yourself in in great art and lots of it too. So yeah I think that's uh, probably it for questions today so I'll show you now the get back um, piece that I worked on and um, I'll join you again at the end so enjoy. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed that. Um, I really loved working on that, but I have to say it took forever to make. I've just been really struggling with, um, I'd say my shoulder first and foremost, but there's actually kind of three pronged stuff that I've been, yeah, going through recently. Um, I've pulled a muscle, sorry, I've pulled a nerve actually, or pinched a nerve in my shoulder. And that's been causing all sorts of issues and, um, you know, bending over in uh, over my clay desk has been, you know, quite difficult. So it's meant that work's been just taking ages to do because I've had to spend, um, you know, way more days on working on a piece, but sort of less hours um, within the actual day themselves. And um, also I've been having some issues with um, FND. So Basically, I get a um, a nerve pain that goes right up my scalp. Um, it's the occipital, I can never say that word, but it's something like the occipital nerve. Um, and it goes right over and um, yeah, it can be, yeah, really quite excruciating. Thankfully, it's not too bad today, but um, yeah, that's not been fun. But um, I've also been struggling a bit with kind of perimenopause stuff and um, I might well talk about this, um, you know, another time in more more depth, but um, it's meant that I've had to kind of tinker around with HRT, which, um, yeah, is, uh, is never nice, really, but hopefully I'm kind of getting on a, yeah, 
more of a groove now with it. So yeah, I'm just hoping that things kind of resolve themselves a bit better. I've been seeing a physio for my shoulder, which has been helpful. And um, Ian bought one of those massage gun things um, recently. So we're just kind of attacking that area every day. And um, yeah, it does seem to be helping, thankfully. So yeah, I just want to get stuck into more art, really. And it's just frustrating um, that I can't. And I think because of the... Um, the hormonal stuff as well, um, I'm really struggling with a bit of creative block, which is something I've never really had. And um, I just thought I'd mention it because I know that other folks out there struggle with creative block as well. So just to offer a bit of solidarity, really, usually speaking, I've got about five ideas going on in my head at any one time for the next few projects. That I want to work on but I'm just really struggling to get any kind of motivation together for you know whatever I want to work on but I guess it's a knock-on effect of not being able to you know do a full day at the moment but hopefully spring will bring a new energy fingers crossed but anyway thank you ever so much for watching Give it a like if you got this far um I really appreciate you watching my videos because um I'm sure you will have heard other YouTubers mention this, but it's getting really difficult um, for getting people to watch videos, engage with them, because I think YouTube's priority is on shorts recently. So it's really difficult to get people to try and watch your long form content. So if you've stuck around this long, thank you ever so much. I might well do another, um, you know, short Q&A um, thing around my next video or, you know, one to follow soon so if you've got any other questions you'd like to know about me my work or you know anything like that by all means let me know have a great weekend i think i'll be publishing this on saturday or sunday so yeah have a good one i'll see you soon take care bye